According to a report by CNN, members of the U.S. Congress are investigating an alleged covert CIA operation to transport powerful weapons out of Libya and put them in the hands of rebels in Syria fighting against Bashar al-Assad at around the time of the attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi last year. Among the explosive allegations, CNN reports that the CIA had been moving surface-to-air missiles from Libya through Turkey and then into Syria, even though President Barack Obama publicly opposed arming the Syrian opposition. Then CIA Chief David Petraeus and Secretary of State Hillary Clinton were in favor of providing support for rebel groups. The CNN report includes accusations that the CIA is engaged in a massive attempt to prevent secrets from the Benghazi incident from leaking to the outside world, subjecting CIA employees to monthly polygraph tests. The Obama administration was heavily criticized for its handling of the attack in Benghazi in September of last year. After militants stormed the compound, killing Ambassador Christopher Stevens in the process, government officials initially said they believed it was the result of a protest that had grown out of hand, a claim that turned out to be false. Clinton, then the country's top diplomat, came under heavy fire at a packed Senate committee meeting earlier this year after she was accused of trying to duck responsibility for the breach of security. With all due respect, the fact is we had four dead Americans. Was it because of a protest or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? It is our job to figure out what happened and do everything we can to prevent it from ever happening again, Senator. The State Department has claimed it had been helping the Libyan government destroy damaged and out-of-date weapons, but refused to comment on the activities of other agencies. If the CNN report proves true, it would be a wild twist in an already difficult chapter of the administration's Middle East policy.